Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I am doing a what's on my iPhone 15 Pro. I just wanted to thank you for 10,000 views on my last video. It's been a hot minute since a video has performed that well. So thank you guys and I hope you guys stick around. Also check out my Instagram because I also work hard on my feed and content over there. So this video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm just gonna kick it back and do it old school and film my phone on the camera rather than do all the screen recording because I don't know honestly that's just a lot of work and I was watching what's on my iPhones and no one really cares about seeing my face I can just explain through the camera also too I have a screen that I've like newly customized so I want to show you so I think that's it for the intro I just have the iPhone 15 Pro in black titanium with a black or midnight silicone case and I just think it's absolutely stunning let's get on into this video. So this is one of my home screens. It's just of my little dog. I have a photo of me and my friends, but for privacy reasons, I'm just not going to show that. But that is what the home screen looks like. And I do not have the always on display because I just feel like that wastes battery. So going ahead and opening this on up, this is like the main screen I've been using all the time. So first I have these little widgets from Widget Smith, and then I have the screen time right here. I kind of stole this setup actually from Catherine June. So if you follow her, I was watching her what's on my iPhone and I absolutely loved this setup. I kind of go in more in depth with this setup on my other what's on my iPhone, the iPhone 14 Pro. So I will link that down below, but basically I'm just gonna go through it really quick. So I have YouTube and Maps. Those are like two of my most used apps. And then I have my social media here. So I have Facebook, Discord, Reddit, Instagram, Messenger, Pinterest, TikTok, Threads, and X. I honestly don't really use like Threads or X a whole lot, but they're there. Then I have my photo section or my edit folder. So I have preview, Lightroom, CapCut, camera, and lens buddy. I don't know why I have the camera there because I can honestly just like press the action button now. But Lens Buddy is the app I use to take my photos when I'm shooting content for anyone or I don't have anyone to take my photo. I just need to snap photos really quick using my tripod, so I just use that app. Then I have Productivity. WhatsApp is the app we use to communicate with our teacher, but other than that, I don't use it. Um, I have Mail, that's like my iCloud mail app. Then I have Calendar. Chrome, Gmail, YouTube Studios, which I never even look at my stats, really. <laughs> Reminders and notes. And then we have health. I never use the Nike Run Club. I can probably delete that, but I just have it. And then I have Cycle Bar, Flow to track my period, Pam, Health, and the Aero Scale. And this app is so cool because like you can see all of these stats. And then moving on to the finance folder, I have my wallet, calculator, Fairwinds, Chase, and PayPal. I also have Venmo, but I don't use it. I you only use it to pay one person, so like I don't have it on my home screen. Next is the shop app. I have many more shop apps, but these are like the most commonly used ones. So I have Starbucks, Amazon, eBay, my app store to like get apps and stuff. And then Donato's, the best pizza ever. And there's one in Winter Park, Florida. And then Sephora. And then down on my dock here, I have uh, messages, phone, because they're both green and they always need to be on the left. And then I have photos. And these are my photos. I only have five photos because basically what I do is I airdrop these to my computer and then put them on an external hard drive. That's how I can, um, oh yeah, by the way, this isn't up close of the phone like by itself. That's how I can go with the lowest number of storage because I keep my photos on an external hard drive. Um, and then next are podcasts and these are like my favorite podcasts. So. I love Love You By, Manifest with Tori Simone. I recently subscribed to Alex Earl's podcast. And then I have Gals on the Go, Happy Hour with Gretchen Garrity, Bates, and then Brie. But she hasn't like uploaded one in a hot minute. So anyway, those are the podcasts. I always listen to podcasts in the car. My music is like up here because I only listen to music like when I'm in the mood and honestly I'm almost never in the mood to listen to music in the car anymore. It's always podcasts. So this is what I've been using for the past like year, year and a half. I love this setup and I think I'm going to use it 
still but like interchangeably because it's really cool what you can do so i'm just gonna hold this and then press edit home screen you can tap down here and turn off screens so let's hypothetically say i don't want to use that one anymore i can just tap that and then click done and then this is my new screen layout inspired by sofia carmada uh i love this setup and i think i'm gonna start using it but also too like i don't know i just love the other one so much so i'm just gonna go back and forth okay so also too i have this screen this is when you like swipe left um i have my calendar so i can just see like my quick things at a glance like my appointments or whatever and then i have clock and then i have weather here so i can see that and then this app right here is called lock it it's basically you can put a picture of like your friend on the screen so it's really cool but i can't really show you guys because i only have like one person um so yeah i highly recommend that app it's super fun so going over this i just kind of put all of the apps that I use heavily on this screen because I am a one page type of gal. Like I just wanna swipe here or like swipe down to search things. So going over this, I have the calendar widget. So I have Chrome, Gmail, YouTube, and Google Maps. I use those so much, like all of those. And then I have my Apple wallet because I always use Apple Pay. And then I have my calculator. I could probably replace that with something, but I was kind of like going off her model, like Sophia's model. And then she had like a bank here, but I have like three. I have my two credit cards and then my Fairwinds account, like my checking. And then I have my mail, both of the mail apps I really do use. And then I have social media. She didn't put any social media down here. She had like a second page. But again, I don't like two pages, so I just put all of the social medias that I like I'm constantly on here in this corner. So that's what that looks like. I have the weather and then this cool moon. I think I'm gonna try to use this. It's like a lot more simple and minimalistic. It doesn't have all those folders. I only have like one folder and that's just for uh, my bank and stuff. I kind of like it. I might use it, might not. So that's the beauty of these screens because you can like make up your own screen and then turn it off or turn it on. This one over here is my old, old screen. Like if you watch any of my other, what's on my iPhones, like this is how the screen was organized. There's some added because like, you know, the iPhone has more apps. But anyway, that is my phone at a glance. So obviously make sure you're subscribed here because that means the world to me. And then my Instagram, make sure you're following that too. I need to do the self promo because these are videos that actually do well. And then we have my TikTok. I am trying kind of hard on TikTok. I knew this video would do well with the iPhone, so like, I posted it. And then personal Facebook because I like to creep on people and then Discord because I like to read the gossip. So, and then I'm just gonna quickly go over all of the apps that are on my phone so you guys can get an idea. Okay, so first it goes in alphabetical order. So we have Amazon, App Store, Apple Store, Authenticator. This is like a code generator so no one can like hack into things, at least you're not supposed to be able to like do that. And then I have Be Real. Apparently this app is like going out of style, which kind of makes me sad because I really liked it. And then I have Bumble because I'd be trying to meet people, but yeah. Um, and then Calculator, Calendar. I've kept the Calendar app, even though I use the Google Calendar because I've been going back and forth with it. I'm starting to like Google Calendar though, a little bit better. Then I have Camera, Camera Connect. So when I take photos on my G7X, I can um, just airdrop. Basically it's like airdrop. And then we have Canvas Student. That's how I check my grades and stuff. CapCut, I use CapCut to edit all of my TikToks. Then I have Selly Service. That's like our town's app. Chase, Chick-fil-A, Chrome, Clock, Contacts, Cycle Bar. We have Discord, Discover, Disney World, Donato's, <laughs> Drive. That's like Google Drive so I can like access my files. Then I have the Dunkin' app, even though I'm a Starbucks girly. Um, and then eBay, Aeroscale, Facebook, Facetune, Fairwinds, Fidelity, Files. I never really use that one. I don't know why I have it. I think it's when I bought some presets. Um, and then Find My, I have the fitness app. Even though I don't have an Apple Watch and stuff, I don't think I can even delete this. Oh, I guess I can, but I've just kept it. 
um, Flow, Gmail, Google Calendar, and then I have Google Maps, Health, Instagram, iTunes. Jetpack is for my blog. It literally always reminds me to blog at 10 a.m. and then I just like clear out of it. It's kind of funny. And then Lens Buddy, Lightroom is how I edit all of my photos. I have LinkedIn. Locket is the app I was telling you about where you can like send photos to people and they can be on your home screen. And then I have Like to Know It Creator so I can provide affiliate links. And then I have Lululemon and Mail, Maps, Messages, Messenger. I hate when people use Messenger because like it forces me to go into the app and I just really don't feel like it. And then music, my Cricut. Cricut is my um, carrier so I just have that even though it always makes us reset our passwords and stuff. The Nike Run app. Then we have Notes. Open Table and Outlook. Outlook just kind of came with my package from Windows. I don't know, it's that package Microsoft like has you buy when you get Word. I totally forgot what it is. Open tables for making reservations. Then we have the Pam app, PayPal. I have phone, photos, Pinterest, podcasts, preview. And that's an app where you could like see your Instagram feed, but I have to like re-screenshot my Instagram stuff so I can like see. And then I have Publix, Reddit, Reminders. Retouch is to like get a object that you don't want in a photo out of the photo. It's actually kind of good, I'm not gonna lie. And then we have Safari, Sephora, Settings, Smart Lock is kind of like a app. So you can like, again, it goes back to the authentication stuff. Um, then we have Starbucks, one of my favorite apps. Okay, well, oh, here's my stars. I almost have 500 stars. I'm so excited. And then I have Target, Threads, TikTok, Apple TV, but I don't pay for that. Venmo, Vimeo, Wallet Weather, WFTV News and Weather app, my WhatsApp, and then the Widget Smith, that, cause that's how I get the moon widget and then like the calendar one. Then I have X, Yelp, YouTube, and YouTube Studio. So I don't have that many apps, honestly, and that's another reason why I don't need the biggest storage. Okay, so I did some rearranging and I think this is like more practical because I always hold my phone in my left hand. It's just one of those things, except for when I'm driving, I hold it in the right hand, but those are like easily accessible, like on the right side. But on the left, like I wanted my social media here. I don't know. I just felt like I had to update you guys about the phone. I might make the little moon thing, the smart stack or like one of those stacks that you, like you can flip through. Okay, so I think I got the screen how I want it. I honestly might go back to my old screen, the one I showed at the beginning, just because I'm so much more used to it. But this is kind of fun and I like the way this looks. Um, I got it to like how I want it. This is a smart stack so I can like swipe through, which is really convenient. So I like having it Starbucks in the app store because I always update my apps. That like reminds me to. And then they're both blue, so I just kind of like that. But also I like having the finance folder because it has everything dealing with like money just in that folder. So that is going to be it for what's on my iPhone 15 Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below what phone you have. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.